body projected vertically up. We consider a body projected vertically up with initial velocity. Then what you will observe? It moves up to some distance. Again, it falls onto the ground because of gravitational force. If we project a body vertically up, at the point of projection, the initial velocity is along this direction and due to gravitational force, the weight of the body is acting vertically down. That means this motion is having acceleration A equal to G which is minus G. Since the acceleration is opposite to the motion, we have to consider the acceleration is minus G. Due to this, when the body is moving up, the velocity of the body will decrease. In this case, the acceleration is acting opposite to the motion of the body. Then what happens to velocity? Yes, velocity decreases. When it is moving up, the velocity decreases. After some time, the velocity becomes zero. At this position, the velocity is zero. Can it move up further? No, it can't. Can it stay there? No, that is also not possible. Why? Because the acceleration is acting vertically down. That is the gravitational force. And due to this acceleration, from this position, the body again falls as a freely falling body. This is the motion of a body which is projected vertically up. That means, in case of a vertically projected body, since the acceleration is opposite to the motion of the body, as it is moving up, the velocity decreases. Till its velocity becomes zero, it moves up. Again, from that position, the body reaches the ground as a freely falling body. Now, in this case, the quantities which are in upward direction, we are considering positive. Therefore, the quantities which are having the direction opposite to this are negative. Initial velocity is vertically up, it is positive. Then acceleration due to gravity, vertically down, it is negative. Now, this is our reference position. Above this, we consider positive values. And opposite to this, we consider negative values. Now, we try to write the equations of motion for vertically projected body. First, we consider the equation V equal to U plus AT, which gives the velocity after time T seconds. Now, in case of vertically projected body, the initial velocity is U, the acceleration A equal to minus G. Therefore, a velocity after T seconds in case of vertically projected body is V equal to U minus GT. Now, another equation, the displacement after T seconds, that is S equal to UT plus half AT square. This equation turns as S is equal to UT minus half GT square. This is the displacement of the body after T seconds. Now, another equation, V square minus U square, this is equal to 2AS. This gives the relation between initial velocity, final velocity in terms of acceleration and displacement. This turns as V square minus U square, this is equal to minus 2GS. And the displacement covered in nth second, what is the equation for it? Sn is equal to u plus a into n minus 1 by 2. This equation takes the form Sn is equal to u minus g into n minus 1 by 2. Now, these are the equations of motion for a body which is projected vertically up from the ground. Now, in case of vertically projected body, what is the maximum height that it can reach? Already we know that at maximum height, the velocity is zero. Suppose if I consider this path, the initial velocity is u, 
the final velocity is 0 and a equal to minus g. I want to find the displacement h. This is nothing but maximum height. To find this, we can take the equation v square minus u square equal to 2is. From this we can write 0 minus u square, this is equal to 2gh. The maximum height reached, h is equal to u square by 2g. The next one, time of ascent. What is time of ascent? This is the time taken by a vertically projected body to reach maximum height. Suppose we consider the time of ascent t equal to ta. After ta seconds, it is reaching the maximum height. And we know that the velocity at maximum height is 0. That means after ta seconds, the velocity becomes 0. Now from the equation, v equal to u plus a t. 0 is equal to u minus g t a. In this case, v is 0, u is initial velocity and a equal to minus g. From this we get the time of ascent t a. This is equal to u by g. And next, time of descent. The time taken to reach ground from maximum height is called time of descent. If we consider this path, that is from maximum height to the ground, what is the nature of motion of the body? Suppose if I consider only this path, this is initial position and this is final. Initially the velocity is zero and it falls due to acceleration due to gravity. At final position, it is having some velocity. V. Now the motion of the body along this path is a free fall. For this we can take initial velocity u equal to 0, the acceleration a equal to g and the displacement s is equal to h. Now from the equation, s is equal to ut plus half a t square, we can write h is equal to 1 by 2 g t d square. Again substituting h is equal to u square by 2 g is equal to 1 by 2 g t d square. From this we get t d, the time of descent is equal to u by g. From these two equations we can say the time of ascent is equal to time of descent. Time of flight. The time taken by a vertically projected body to reach ground from the point of projection is called the total time of flight. That means the duration between these two points is called the time of flight. This is nothing but the time of ascent plus the time of descent and this is equal to 2u by g. This we can also do using this equation. Uh, when it reaches the ground, the displacement in vertical direction is 0. Now you take the equation, s is equal to ut plus half a t square. After time capital T, it reaches the ground, let us consider. Then 0 equal to u into t minus half g t square. From this we get t equal to 2u by g. This is the time of flight for a vertically projected body. Now the velocity on reaching ground. When the body reaches ground, what is the displacement in vertical direction? Zero. I want to find the velocity on reaching ground. I know the initial velocity. I know acceleration. And also I know the displacement. Which equation we can use? Yes, v square minus u square equal to 2as. Now using this equation, v square minus u square equal to 2g into 0 or v square equal to u square or v equal to plus or minus u. Therefore, the velocity on reaching ground is equal to 
velocity of projection in magnitude but opposite in direction at this position the velocity is vertically up at this position that is on reaching ground the velocity is vertically down the important points we have to remember related to a vertically projected body if a body is projected vertically up with initial velocity u the acceleration of the body is a equal to minus g this opposes the motion now my question is is it always opposes the motion no during upward motion it opposes the motion and during downward motion it is in the direction of the motion now in this case the time of ascent and the time of descent are equal suppose we consider a body is projected vertically up the total time of flight is 6 seconds then what is time of ascent and what is time of descent exactly time of ascent is 3 seconds time of descent is 3 seconds it takes 3 seconds to move up 3 seconds to move down now as you are seeing in the figure when it is moving up after first second after second second after third second these are the positions after fourth fifth and sixth seconds what you can observe from this figure the displacement during the first second is equal to the displacement during the sixth second and the displacement during second second this is equal to the displacement during the fifth second the displacement during third second this is equal to the displacement during fourth second and one more important thing whatever the velocity of the body at this position it is having same velocity at this position on returning that means when it returns to the ground but opposite in direction and the velocity after 1 second is equal to velocity after 5 seconds velocity after 2 seconds is equal to velocity after 4 seconds velocity after 3 seconds is zero and one more thing when it is moving down it is a freely falling body therefore the ratio of displacements when it is moving down is 1 is to 3 is to 5 already we have seen this therefore during the upward motion the ratio of the displacements is 5 3 1 already we discussed these two are equal these two are equal and these two are equal whatever the velocity of projection during the last second of upward motion how much distance it moves you know it is g by 2 related to these ideas we do some problems in case of a vertically projected body